So let's dive into the next topic. On Tuesday, a Singapore Airlines flight hit severe turbulence, resulting in a tragic death of a 73-year-old mm. man and leaving 30 others injured. Now, while experts say these deaths are rare, they're warning that they're going to see more extreme cases of turbulence because of climate change. So, Ilana, does hearing that turbulence is getting worse make you reconsider your travel plans? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm not reconsidering my travel plans. I'm just... Um, scared about the climate crisis increasingly. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we think about the climate crisis in terms of life and death, which it fully is yeah. for so many people, especially lower income people mm -hmm. in this world, literal life and death. But for people who are living comfortably in middle class or upper mi middle class, mm -hmm. it's gonna get annoying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, yeah. the climate crisis at least will annoy you day in and day out more and more True. over the course of our lives. It is worth organizing around because it's from extremely annoying to Devastating. Really devastating. Yeah. 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 It's so true. I mean, I, like, I'm definitely rethinking about it. This, what sounds like happened in this particular instance was a kind of, what is it called? Clear air turbulence. Clear air turbulence. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When they described it, I was like, I think I've experienced that before. Years ago, I was on a flight um, to Vegas, mm -hmm. and out of nowhere, we just dropped. I don't know how. It was just, oh. I've never experienced no, the no, feeling no, of no. it. And if you oh. weren't wearing your seatbelt, you would have, your, you would oh. hit the roof. Mm. And I remember being like, the pilot didn't explain what it was. There was nothing said. And I was just like, I never forgot that feeling. Wow. Yeah. And the fact is, is that I have um, become increasingly uncomfortable with air travel. Mm. And I think mm. that, I, I don't know, it does make me reconsider. I mean, it, air travel is hellish anyway. Yeah. So yeah. this is just one more <laughs> Free thing. climate change. Right? Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. I, I, but you're a big cruiser. I know. And that, but that's problematic too. I know how bad they are for the environment. But for years I did cruise. And the last one that I did do, I I was aware also of the impact of climate change. And, and it was so, rocky. Yeah. It was uh, it was so rocky. A lot of it was not during oh. the hurricane season, and so much so that they had put barf bags on no. every staircase yeah. going oh, up in the public no. areas. And I brought a friend along who had never cruised, and I was like, "Oh, you never feel anything. Don't oh, worry no. about it." Oh, no. like, Thanks. Yes. Well, anyway, <laughs> yeah. so impacts in many, many, many different yeah. ways. Um, well, you guys know I actually have a flying phobia. I had to go to therapy for wow. it, and so you would think that I would be, see the story and be terrified, but I am changing nothing about how oh, I yeah. fly. Why is that? Statistically speaking, mm -hmm. flying is the safest form of travel you wow. can do. It is far more dangerous for you to get into your car every single day. Wow. And then throw this into the mix and yeah. you're really in trouble. Right. We're yeah. all in trouble. So statistically speaking, even though the story is awful, this does not happen. And in fact, I have so much faith in airlines and pilots that they are very, very proactive in seeing storms, moving around things are you worried to try though these to make are it. increasing though? I mean, listen, turbulence is increasing, but mm -hmm. I do do some little things. I try to fly early in the morning or late at night. The high heat in the middle of the day is gonna give oh. you a lot more rocky turbulence. Oh, yeah. For example, I do check the turbulence forecast for every flight I travel so I can prepare. Wow. Not because I can okay. stop turbulence. I can't stop turbulence. Yeah. There's a great app. Follow I was me on just socials. Like, how do you find out about the turbulence? Yeah, the turbulence forecast. There's, There's a website. You put in your flight number, it shows your flight path. So if I can see hour three, we could be in for some. Ooh. I'm telling my daughter, don't get out to go to the bathroom. I tell my husband, wow. sit down. You should always have your seatbelt on. Let's just be honest. Yeah. But do I let my parents drive when I know there's an impending storm? Nope, stay right. at home. Do I uh, travel to the Hurricane Belt Islands in the Caribbean in hurricane season? No, I don't. Other things have changed because of climate change. Right. Um, but my flying, you know, if you're lucky to do it, I'm still doing it. Mm. That's great. Yeah. Uh, you're making me feel really bad because I'm like, if the flight's cheap and the package is good, <laughs> I'm done. Yes. I'm never going to do it. Charging us for every bag. Like, we have to have a bag while you're charging for me. There are no more hot meals on the flight. Like, I'm upset yes. about different things. But you know what? You've alerted me to things that I have to look into. I did not know I could check my turbulence. So thank you for that. I'll send you the link. Thank you. I'll send you the link. Hey there. What did you think? Drop your comments below and join the conversation. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you can find more on everything from food and fashion to pop culture and current events. See you soon.